Question 15. Explain what is emphysema? What is treatment? Answer. Emphysema is a lung condition where the tiny sacs, alveoli, in the lungs fill up with the air. As the air expands in the alveoli, it may break or damage and form scar tissue. It is one of the chronic pulmonary diseases. Regular smoking is one of the main reasons behind emphysema. This complication is incurable, yet there are certain therapy and medication which can slow down the progression of this disease like antibiotics, bronchodilators, steroid aerosol sprays, oxygen therapy and stop smoking. Question 16. Explain why patient pH is measured before giving them respiratory therapy. Answer. Before treating patient it is important to know its acidotic slash alkalotic balance. It helps therapists to assess his lung function and to decide what testing is further required by the patient. Question 17. What infection control protocol should respiratory therapist should practice prior to see any patient? Answer. In USA, HISAD, Healthcare Infection Control Advisory Committee, protocol is considered one of the best sterilizing protocol used for apparatus and equipment apart from that respiratory therapist can follow personal sanitization protocol as well before seeing any patients. Question 18. Explain what is arterial blood gas sampling? Answer. Arterial blood gas sampling is a test used to know the pH of the patient. It is very helpful to diagnose any chronic or acute respiratory failure. Question 19. Explain what is MERS? Answer. MERS stands for Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. It is caused by a virus named coronavirus. MERS COV typically found in Middle East especially in Saudi Arabia. The virus belongs to a wide family which can cause common cold to severe acute respiratory syndrome. SARS. Question 20. What are the typical symptoms of respiratory system disorder? Answer. Respiratory symptoms disorders are lethargy, drowsiness and general fatigue, confusion, disorientation and anxiety, poor appetite and weight loss, hiccups and yawning, increased heart rate and shallow respiration, difficulty in coughing and clearing the throat, weight loss and poor appetite. Question 21. What are the steps you can take to minimize respiratory complications? Answer. To minimize respiratory complications you have to follow the following steps. Place more fans in the house to keep air fresh and circulating. Get vaccinated if a person is having flu or pneumonia. Do respiratory exercise regularly to cough up respiratory secretion more easily. Use medications like expectorants with physician guidelines. If person having serious respiratory problems then use feeding tube, so food don't get stuck in air pipes. Raise the head of the bed while the person is lying down. Question 22. What are the duties of a respiratory therapist? Answer. Duties of a respiratory therapist generally include administration of inhalants, operation of ventilators, administration of therapeutic gas apparatus and aerosol generators in order to facilitate and ease the process of respiration among assigned patients. Moreover, diagnosing respiratory diseases and discomforts and creating treatment plans to address these problems is the major work of respiratory therapists. They also administer various medications and hook up patients to life-saving equipment to help them deal with their respiratory issues. Additionally, respiratory therapists educate patients and families about different respiratory issues and how to deal with them. Question 23. How do you meet patients' respiratory needs? Answer. I begin by assessing the patient's pulmonary needs through pulmonary assessment tests. I then come up with a comprehensive respiratory therapy plan, schedule on basis of interpretation of test results and in consultation with the physician. Question 24. Do you think documentation is important in respiratory therapy? Answer. Definitely. Each patient has a complete file with charts which is updated after each treatment session. It not only consists of detailed details of the treatment given but also details of how the patient's system responded to the same. Question 25. What infection control protocols do you practice? Answer. I practice in compliance with the USA's Healthcare Infection Control Advisory Committee HISAD, by sterilizing all apparatus and equipment after every use and by following personal sanitization protocols prior to any interaction with patients. Question 26. Share an instance where you introduced some new technique at the hospital you worked for. How did it work? Answer. I initiated installation and usage of oscillation and jet ventilators at the unit which were not only cost effective but also generated better results as compared to the traditional ventilators. They still have them. 
Question 27. What respiratory equipment are you most proficient in using? Answer. I am especially trained to use nasal cannulas, air cushion resuscitation masks, non-rebreathing masks, nebulizers, aspirators, compact compressors, ultrasonic nebulizers and ventilators. Question 28. How well can you respond to emergency situations? What is the most important thing when dealing with situations that require immediate respiratory attention? Answer. I believe that I am quite capable of handling emergency situations effectively and I have my work to show for it. The most important thing in situations that demand immediate attention is to figure out where the problem is. If one has the capability of figuring out the nature of disease, it is easy to pinpoint what treatment needs to be administered by looking at only a few symptoms.